So first we're going to go over all, all of the options that WPGTK provides. So in order to do that, we're going to use the H flag to display the help. As you can see, you can do a lot of stuff uh, with uh, WPGTK in the command line. You can set a wallpaper and color scheme. You can add a wallpaper to generate a color scheme. And uh, you can see which wallpapers are available to set. You can delete and you can show the current wallpaper, shuffle the color scheme, uh, send the color sequences to all terminals. And you can also add, remove and list templates instead of themes. So to show you how this works, you can go and display all of the current wallpapers that I have. And if I want to see the templates that I have active, I can just do uh, the same thing with the next flag and it will show me the all the base files or the templates that I have active in my in my WPGTK setup. But you may be wondering what is this good for? Well actually it's really useful because it lets you do a lot of one liners to uh dynamically pick your color scheme or wallpaper. So for example I have FSF which is a Fuzzy Finder and I can just uh try and do this. I can set a theme and I will get an interactive menu for choosing that wallpaper that I want to set. So as you can see it was it was really simple to, to use FSF to make an interactive menu for WPGTK. Well, let's try that one more time. And I also include a special flag, M, to set a random wallpaper. If you don't specify anything after this flag, you'll get a random color scheme and a random wallpaper. So completing a random theme. Instead, if you specify a wallpaper, you will get different color schemes for the same wallpaper. But having gone over this, I'll go over some of the more basic functions of WPGTK and we're going to start by adding a new wallpaper to the setup so I can uh, just add this uh, JPEG file it's uh, generating colors can be a pie wall as you can see it's already done but to actually set it we have to uh, use the S flag so as you can see a color scheme was generated and maybe I don't like the order in which uh, Pywall put the colors in, so I can just shuffle this uh, this color scheme around, like so. And you will be able to see immediately that the colors moved around, so it's actually pretty useful um, to use this until you like what you see. As you can see, I'm getting uh, sort of autocomplete out of the console, and that is because I include autocomplete functions for both uh, CSH and Bash. So if I try to do this, it will uh, display the default uh, completion, which is a directory completion. If I try to remove one of the themes, it will show the ones that I have available. So if I remove the one that I just put in, that should be it. And if I want to set a wallpaper, it's the same thing. So the thing that I showed earlier with FSF is a little redundant if you're using either one of these shells because you already get an interactive menu on CSH and you get auto completion in, in Bash. 
But what's important about these flags is that they open a lot of possibilities. For example, I could create a, a small script that shuffles the colors around and sets them. So it will be something like this. I will uh, shuffle the current wallpaper and set again the current wallpaper and that should give me a different color scheme every time I do it so in order for you to visualize it better I'm going to place this color script over here and you will be able to see how that changes as you can see um, the colors are being shuffled in real time thanks to PyWall we are able to set the the sequences to each uh, terminal so they get updated in real time and it's really a one-liner and it's really powerful Another thing that I wanted to cover is that obviously in the user interface you have an options tab which allows you to change the settings of WPGTK but since in the command line we cannot have an interactive user interface we have to recur to editing the file manually which is over here as you can see there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, either in the user interface or over here so for example if you want to add a custom keyboard you do it over here let's say you want font 1 and uh, comic sense the result of this will be that in uh, in a base file if you put the keyword in this format it will be replaced by the content of this word this is similar to how it's done in the user interface to demonstrate this I'm just simply going to save this I'm going to open WPG and you will be able to see once we navigate to uh, the keywords that they will be visible over here so it's it's just the same as if I had just added a keyword and then saved that uh, keyword basically so if I wanted uh, let's say a, a, a bright color scheme I will just go ahead and set this to true and let's say I want to shuffle this one it will be a light color scheme as you can see over here in the color uh, all of our applications are affected by this same as before and it was done using only the command line that's obviously an inconvenience that the user interface doesn't have that you can actually do that kind of stuff and not save the changes so it's a one time only in the command line interface you cannot do that but anyway let's use the little one liner that we had before to turn things back to normal as you can see we went from a light color scheme to a dark color scheme in a one liner once again by shuffling the colors and since I don't like them I'll do it one more time okay seems better one of the things that I wanted to uh, focus on before I wrap up this tutorial is uh, the command line actions you can do with templates I already showed you a basic one which is listing the templates what I'm doing is that I'm telling WPGTK to basically operate over uh, templates rather than wallpapers with the X flag so following this principle if I wanted to add a small configuration file to WPGTK in order to sync it with uh, keywords and color schemes what I need to do is add it to WPGTK with a special flag but first we're going to go over uh, the example configuration that I have over here it's a small file it's simple it's just for demonstration purposes and we're going to add it this way As you can see, WPGTK took care of making a backup, creating a base file, and doing a simlink in order to uh, synchronize every time we change the wallpaper or the color scheme. So now we can actually edit that template. Let's 
displays uh, one of WPGTK's keywords over here. And as you can see, I'm editing the, the base file, not the original or uh, anything else. So if I just go and add a random, uh, set a random color scheme, you will be able to see that our configuration file has changed. If I list the available uh, templates, you will see that the one that I just added is there. So let's do it one more time. It updated one more time. So basically, I want to be able to remove that from WPTK. You can also do that via the command line. The auto completion feature is coming really handy when you're doing this kind of operation. So you can just delete this one. And you will be able to see that uh, WPGTK no longer affects this file. But if you want to uh, go back to the way it was before you added it to WPGTK, it's really simple. You just do this. And it's back where it started. So anyway, that's it uh, for the set of features that we have at the point. I hope I can keep adding features or improving ones that already exist. But until then, uh, I'll see you next time.